Ever wish you could set up your own rating system in Serato DJ like you can in Tractor Pro? In this video, I'll show you exactly how to do that. Find out more coming up. So, one feature that Serato DJ is strangely missing is a rating system. This is something that you find in other DJ software, such as Tractor. Right here you can see that there's a 5 star rating system in Tractor and all you have to do is click however many stars you want to give a song and it'll save that. And you can look up and sort your tracks by the ratings that you've given certain songs. Ratings can be mean anything from the energy that the track has or how often you play it or how much it's a hit. I mean it's all up to you on how to use it. But that functionality of having a rating system that you can sort by is great to have in Tractor and I do miss that in Serato DJ. But I've come up with my own workaround. Actually. So here's a workaround for Serato DJ on how to add your own rating system. So as you can see right now, I just have these five columns open, uh, song, artist, BPM, length, and key. But if I go ahead and add the composer column for the composer ID3 tag, you'll see that I have stars, just like a five-star rating system that you found in Tractor right here. I've, I've applied a five-star rating system in uh, Serato DJ using the composer tag. So how did I do this? First and foremost, you're going to have to find an ID3 tag that you don't use at all. In my case, I don't use the composer tag for any of my music for any of the uh, organizations, so I cleared it all out, and I used this as uh, my rating system. So instead of composer, this should say, I mean, you can think of it as saying rating. So how did I get the stars? Easy enough. So if I go to iTunes and I go into my Big Room playlist, which is the same exact playlist that you see in Serato DJ as I use iTunes playlists in Serato DJ, you'll see right here in the Composer section, I have the stars just like I do in Serato DJ. So how do you get those stars? If you go up to Edit, go to Special Characters, this little pop-up comes up and you get access to all the emojis that come uh, with Mac OS. So, I mean, it doesn't have to be stars. You can use thumbs up, uh, smiley faces, <laughs> bugs, animals, whatever you need. Uh, whatever you like, whatever you think is going to be useful and catches your eye. Uh, I use stars just because Tractor uses it. And then you, all you got to do is just click and drag these characters onto whatever um, ID3 tag that you want to use. So, for example, Let's go ahead and edit this one. Let's go ahead and click, and you'll see that the uh, emoji appears just like that. So if I keep clicking it, it appears. Also, if you don't want to keep this open, once you have one emoji down, just highlight it, copy it. Now I can just paste over and over and over again. Simple as that. So by using emojis in an unused ID3 tag, uh, such as Composer in this case for me, uh, I've added a uh, rating system pretty easily within Serato DJ. Now, what's cool about this also is that you can build rules around um, these as well to build your smart crates or smart playlists. For example, I could you know, go ahead and create a smart playlist saying like all songs that have one star, two stars, and three stars. And that way, I can kind of narrow down the music and build playlists based on the rating system. Uh, in, that I've created in iTunes but apply it to Serato DJ as well and also you can just go ahead and sort just like this so I know that okay these are all my three star songs four or five star songs really quickly just you know find the songs that uh, are like the the hitters that you know are gonna work for that situation right there or you know if I need something that's like a little less energy I can grab one of these super easy uh, I love the fact that now that you can have somewhat of a rating system in Serato DJ that was missing. I, I mean, I still don't understand why they haven't added it. Uh, the other major DJ softwares do have it, but there's a great workaround. Pretty simple to do, uh, really easy to apply, just takes a little bit of time, but in my opinion, well worth it. So that's how you set up a rating system in Serato DJ using special characters. So question of the day, are you going to set up your own rating system? And if so, how are you going to set it up? And what characters are you going to use? Go ahead and leave that down in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. And as always, if you found this video useful, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. 
And thank you for watching P.TV, where you'll find tips, tricks, and tutorials for DJs and music performers. See you next time.